Hi, it's Saturday, February 16th, and this is my second video from Pipe Stem State Park in 2019. My other recent video here was Valentine's Love Devotions. Only an inch of snow was forecasted overnight and this morning. And we ended up with a fresh three inches instead. So I thought that this would be a nice time to get out and make a quick video. The title for this video, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. And we'll start out by looking at Proverbs chapter three in verse one. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. And now we're going into the parking lot here. Gonna walk up to Pipestem Knob Tower on the Pipestem Knob Trail. And now they also call the tower Bowler Observation Tower. So shalt thou found favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. And taking a look at Romans chapter 8, verses 26 through 28, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose and skipping on down to look at verses 37 through 39 nay in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And by the way, we can now get a glimpse of the tower which sits on top of the hill. Moving along to look at 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that you may be able to bear it. And reading in 3 John chapter 1, as we look at verses 2 through 4, 
Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And now we're getting a good view of the tower on the approach as we continue on with Exodus 14, and verse 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And now looking at James chapter 4, starting in verse 5. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted, mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. And as you can see, we've arrived at Pipestem Knob, and this tower sits at exactly 3,000 feet elevation. And there's a lot of history to the area around the park and the community. As this hill is on the land settled by the Nilly family in 1822. And even though the three inches of snow came quickly this morning, the sun is out now and very quickly melting the snow away. And moving on to look at Galatians chapter 6 starting in verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye are, which are spiritual, restore such as one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not, as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. As we continue on with some verses from Ephesians chapter 6. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So just like a person could be leaning against this rail over here and hoping it's not loose and hoping they're not going to fall to the ground, of course, that's depending on something physical that's man-made. But we really need to keep our faith and trust in Jesus Christ choosing to walk in his ways. Many of you probably remember the old hymn, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Happens to be one of my favorite songs from back in the day. And even though there are some newer songs, contemporary songs, that are really good to listen to as well, let's also remember the stories of the old hymns. Reading our Bible and praying every day and leaning on the everlasting arms.